How is everybody doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. Today, we're gonna go over proper weight transfer, weight distribution in your golf swing, and I'm gonna give you a simple drill that's gonna help you, hopefully, no, it will. It will help fix it, and you can do it indoors. So buckle up, let's get to it. Okay, today we're talking about really one of the biggest problems in the golf swing, one of the number one issues, and that's proper weight transfer in the swing, weight distribution, uh, proper everything. And when you get it correct, then a lot of good things are gonna happen. But what happens is we're off for whatever reason, we're gonna go over that. And when you're off, you hit it fat, you hit way behind the ball, you hit it thin because your weight's too back and you have to come up, otherwise you'll hit a foot behind the ball. So it's just the root cause of so many issues in our golf game and we want to get more consistent, we want to get more distance, we want to make better contact with our irons, with every club in the bag, and it all boils down to what are you doing with your weight during your golf swing. We're going to use our body track from V1 Sports today and just to show what we're looking for and then I'm going to show you how to achieve it with uh, just a simple little drill. It's just going to really change, I think, how we kind of approach our transition in our golf swing so that we can have proper weight transfer and hit the ball so much better. But first, let's uh, dive into the swings I did with um, the V1 Sports because I'm going to show you what proper tr weight transfer looks like, what it, what it doesn't look like, and then I'll give you a drill to show you what we're going for. Okay, so here's our swing on using V1 Golf, and go download your free version of the V1 Swing app on for your phone in the App Store, and you'll be able to do this. And I'm using the Pressure Mat by BodyTrack through V1, and that's what we want to look at, our feet, okay? Over here, that's my left foot, and over here is my right foot. And as you can see, it's set up. My weight is fairly 50-50. Let's see, right before I take it back, is going to be pretty close to 50-50, 60-40, and my weight's on the balls of my feet. And as I take it back, great. You can see my weight transfers about 90, 90%, 95% onto my back, really my right foot, in my right ball of my foot, that's what that is. And as I come down, it's transferring right at this point, I'm 86% onto my left side. And then coming through 87, 85, and working toward that back heel a bit, and nearly, um, you know, on my right toe, 100% of my, the weight on my right foot is on my right toe, driving off that back foot. And that's what we look, want in looking at the face on view. That's basically what that looks like. I'm on the inside of my right foot here, and I'm rotating to the outside of my left foot. And you can tell because my left toe is kind of coming off the ground there and spinning out rolling onto that left ankle, which is what we want. Okay, so looking at that, that's pretty ideal weight transfer. And you can see it kind of goes on the way back into my right toe, and then I drive off my right toe onto the outside of my left heel. What happens is we get in a lot of problems by thinking this one thing that we're taught, and it's not wrong, it's just it gets us into uh, improper weight transfer. And that's when we take it back and we start thinking lead with the hips. Okay. We start doing this. Now I like to pull my hip back because it stops you from doing this thing. But if you do, and a lot of people do try to lead with their hips and they try to keep their upper body back because you're trying to keep your head behind the ball. So we keep our head back and we, we drive that hip forward, but our weight stays back. And then our weight, the bottom of our swing arc is way back here. And that's why we hit it fat. 
because we're actually, we're trying to do the right thing, but it's causing us to be in improper positions. So in this swing, I'm trying to keep my, I'm trying to drive forward with my hips first. And you can see as I come through, I'm turning those hips first. That's great. I love that. And then, but I'm keeping my head back. You see how far back my head stays and at impact, I have 54% of my weight on my back foot. Now it's still on my right toe, which is great and driving off the ball of my foot. Uh, you know, I've developed some good habits over the years. And so that's hard to undo as well. Hard to do, hard to undo. And then, but you could see too much of my weight is on my back foot here. And as you can see, I come through and I flip through the ball right there. That's, that's not what we want. That's a flipped shot. Okay. So the first shot I hit that you saw was this guy. All right. That's, that's my first shot and not bad, you know, kind of high, right? That second shot was this one. And you could see I thinned it, didn't go very far. I'm hitting an eight iron. So nothing, nothing really good happened. And that shot went pretty far to the right. So that's the one that's this guy flipping those hands through. So that's what happens when you even like, I even looked good right here, but there's something missing. I'm transferring my weight. I'm rotating the hips, but my, well, I'm rotating my hips, but I'm not transferring my weight to that front side. So let me give you a drill that's going to help you have a different mind, um, thought in terms of transferring your weight than you've probably thought of before. Come on. Okay. So here's the drill that we're going to do a lot. What we've been doing is this, we're here, we take it back and we try to drive here, right? That's what we want, but we keep our weight back and then we're way back here. We want to undo that. So here's how we're going to do it. Take your, take the club back. Just put your club uh, against your shoulders like this. Okay. You've seen that. Now, what I want you to do, instead of driving your hips like this and keeping your weight back, what that's going to cause is this kind of motion here. And that club's going to kind of lift up. What I want you to do is take that club and it's kind of points at the ball down like this. Your first move, I want you to drive that shoulder through the ball and down the line. That's your first move here. Okay. So that shoulder's coming more down and through like this, not here with the hips first. And that club's going to point in that direction. I want that club to drive through straight down your target line and then to the left. And so you want to hit the ball when the club is at the ball. That's where you, you kind of want to have that is your hitting position. Okay. So you're feeling like your shoulders are leading the charge down in here and then you can hit down and through and really chase it with your shoulder. Okay. So it's here down through chase it like this and you know, finish like this even that's going to be like a good way to practice the finish. We're really over exaggerating everything. Okay. So here drive through here and finish out here with your chest way over there. Okay. And that's, that's the, the thought and the feeling I want you to have. And so you're out here as far as you can go. Obviously you've seen this Gary player talks a lot about that. That's what we want. We want to feel like our chest is way out in front. And if you make the mistake, make the mistake of, whoa, falling that way versus, you know, sometimes you hit and you're like, and you fall back this way, then you know, you're not doing it here and really drive through with that upper body. So you're thinking more drive through with upper body rather than lower body. The lower body will go, but let's for now focus on that upper body and really get out here on your toe. So here was that last shot. I just hit, you could see 158 yards of carry with an eight iron total of 168. So as you can see with just a slight little swing thought change, you can achieve huge results going from keeping your head back and driving your hips 
to really driving your shoulders down and through the ball. It's going to make a world of difference. Give it a try. Work hard. Stay safe out there. Make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel and appreciate it if you hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos coming out. Love you guys and we'll see you in the next video. six inches left of the target. I'll take that.